Well, this was not the video that I would have thought I would have been recording uh, as my first thing coming back from my little break, which I'm still going to finish taking. But apparently last night, Johnny Gaudreau and his brother Matthew were both killed by a drunk driver as they were riding their bikes in their rural home uh, area in New Jersey, not that far from Philadelphia. And I can relate because I am in a rural area not that far from Philadelphia, just in the opposite direction. And, uh, you know, Kyle has asked to be able to ride his bike along these country roads out here, and I've never really felt comfortable with that, but that's a different story. Um, both guys just, I guess, last night, like 8.30 at night, hit by the same guy. I have the guy in custody. He's in jail, driving under the influence. Apparently, uh, Johnny and his brother Matthew were going to be attending his sister's wedding on Friday. I don't know if that's today or if that was next Friday. But I just my heart goes out to the whole family, not just you know the Jackets organization and, and the Flames, but just, just the family. Just to instantly lose two sons like that, and now you know the daughter is going to have her her wedding kind of scarred, right? I mean, she can't just get married right now. You, you know, it's just it's just terribly brutal all the way around. And, you know, I don't know the circumstances, so I don't want to get on the soapbox too, soapbox too much, but it's just, how are we still doing this? It's 2024. How are we still getting drunk and getting stoned and driving around killing each other? You know, don't know where he was. I don't know if he just got drunk at home or if, but if, man, you see so many people protesting everything, right? <laughs> you're, you're protesting, don't eat meat, don't use oil. And, and people shame each other over who they're voting for or what their general attitude might be about life and relationships and everything like that. Just people fighting about everything. But where's the disdain? for people that are actually having a effect on other people's lives. You know, we're worse. And I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody, but it's just like, man, if you're at a bar and you see somebody shouldn't be driving home, don't let them drive home. Be that person. Be that man that says, no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, because this is what happens. And again, I don't know if he was just drunk at home alone, but it just, it's unnecessary for this to be happening. Accidents happen when, you know, driving around. That, that's enough. And how we have gotten to this point where it's, it's people are still just, how dumb do you have to be? How selfish do you have to be? You know, I'm the first one to tell you, man, you want to get drunk, you want to get stoned, just that's fine, do all that at home. Don't get behind the wheel, are you kidding me? I can barely climb the stairs if I've had two hits. Anyway, so he was 31, his brother was 29, family loses both sons just like that. Yeah, they got the guy in, he's going to be in jail, probably in jail the rest of his life. I'm sure he... Feels terrible. You know, I'm not saying that he doesn't, but man, we could do better than this. <laughs> we could do better than this. That same energy. You know, you see it on YouTube. People going to the restaurant and shaming people for eating meat or all of the energy that goes into politics and all of that crap. That same energy should be going into getting people to stop getting behind the wheel drunk and killing people because that's having a way more direct effect on somebody's life and, and, and multiple people's lives than any of the other crap people are all over the place yelling and screaming about. That's it. So this hockey season will begin under that cloud. There's, there's no doubt. It's just, it's just brutal, man. I, when I first saw it, I'm like, you know... And nowadays, you don't know what's real anymore. You have to play, I played the whole ESPN video, and I'm like, I guess it's not an AI shtick, right? Because you just never know anymore. You never know what's real and what's fake. But it's, it's real, unfortunately. So that's it. 
Um, I still plan on taking a few days off, be back you know, probably the day after Labor Day, and uh, just hug them if you got them. Hug them if you got them. Yeah.